everyone, it's David with the Plant Bar. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to build a larger terrarium uh, with sand. We're gonna do some sand art around the outside and then plant a succulent in the inside. So it's a little, little more difficult as far as not wanting to use a ton of sand because we wanna fill up the, the center with soil um, and, and have the outside to have the sand. So whatever touches the glass is what you'll see through. So this, uh, this vessel here was, was dropped off by a client today and asked me to build it up. So she picked out the plant. She picked out uh, the sand. So she wants to do uh, white and black sand uh, layered in there and do a little sand art. And then um, the other thing that you'll need, you need a succulent. Uh, this is a chocolate finger, which is a pretty cool, pretty cool plant. It's got these uh, chocolate fingers that go on it. Uh, the more sun it gets, the more chocolate it is, the more bright light it gets, I guess you should say. And for this one, I took a, just gonna use what I have laying around. This is a pot from a plant that we had planted a little while ago, and I already cut off the top because I want this to fit inside. So it does now, with the rim, it didn't fit in there. So what we're going to do first is we always build from the bottom and everything you see, uh, the, whatever touches the glass is what you're gonna see. And because I'm gonna set this in there, I wanna set this in on some sand already. So I'm gonna start with white. Just gonna pour in a good amount. Doesn't need to be filled up. We wanna cover the bottom and then we're gonna flare out the sides. So you don't have to like fill, you wanna flare it so we have some so the bottom is covered so you don't see the plastic or dirt if you're just doing a smaller one. And then you're gonna flare. Flare off the sides, I'm gonna use a little more. So this is like the old sand art you used to do back in the day. As kids, we did it. If you're, if you're a, an adult nowadays, that's the same thing, but now we're planting with plants. So I'll start there. We're gonna wanna do each layer about a couple couple fingers worth. So I'm gonna put the put this in there and I'll put a little more white sand around the outside and then I'll start layering it up. So I'll leave that there. Planter, this one has to be, I just tried to get whatever I could that was close. Um, we're gonna fill the inside with, with potting soil for the succulent with the, a succulent mix soil that we'll mix up. And then the bottom of this, So, slip that in there. Make sure I can't see it from the bottom, which I can't. And before I put the plant in there, I'm gonna do all the layers of sand around the outside. Like I said, two fingers, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna spoon this in there. If I can get it to go quicker by pouring it, I will, but I'm not sure that I will be able to uh, clear, the, clear the lip on this planter. But we're gonna fill it all the way up and then plant the plant and then we'll come back and finish off the rest. So I wanted to put a little more of the uh, white sand in here. So I'm gonna try to see if I can do this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. All right, so I'm gonna have to spoon. Spoon this in, which means it's gonna be time consuming. Spoon it in, probably better to see Put it in on the side that you're working so you can see what you're doing. And I don't want it to be straight. I want to have like ridges and make it so that the sand is very curved. So this is my therapy for the day. For I've been having a pretty good day to be honest with you, but this is nice. Nice therapy, a little sand art therapy. Get nice and relaxed. make a little bit of a mess at the same time. All right, so I've got, that's what I've got so far, right? Little jagged edges. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with the black sand. And the other thing you can do, um, I'll find it, but you can use a, a screwdriver. Use a screwdriver if you wanted to 
change up the way the sand looks down there because you can't really get to it otherwise. So I'll show you. If you're doing it, make sure we don't knock this, uh, this guy out of the way. That would not be good. So I'm loving, I'm loving how this is looking already. This is going to be a really cool piece here. Chocolate finger will fill it in. So the girl that dropped us off, she she's come, she'd come to one of our classes before and done done some stuff with us, but she decided that. She had said during the class she saw some people doing terrariums and she wanted she wanted to to do one too, but she wanted me to do it for her. So, so that's the way it goes. So I told her I would. So this is the, the tedious process. You go round and round. Good news is not gonna have 10 pounds of sand. Um, one it's heavy. Two, 10 pounds of sand, this colored sand is quite expensive for, for what this is. So this is a better way to do it. Create a sleeve. So if you have a skinny tall one, you could do like a paper towel holder or something else that's cylindrical, that's tall, and then that'll, that'll fill the void in the middle so that you don't have, you can do potting soil and, and add the, you know, the medium in the middle. All right, so I did this one kind of, flat so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is try to make it to where the areas that are lower with the white sand I'm going to make the same kind of look so it, it follows the curve and then make some differences elsewhere if it looks right it's a little flat So we built up a wedding site out in a desert creek. And so I spent a good amount of time doing that over the break. And yeah, I forgot, forgot the filming. So we are gonna be more consistent. So you guys can hang out with us, see what we're doing. And we have some, we have some real exciting news for the summer that we'll be sharing very soon. We just got to work out a lot of details. But if you don't live in Phoenix or near here or have traveled through here, you may be able to see us pretty soon somewhere else uh, around the country. So if you want to, if you want to type in where, where you're at, where you're watching from, if you want us to come through your town, let us know. We're, Working up something, brewing up something, something big. And, uh, we'd like to see you guys. We've had a lot of people come through the store that have watched us and uh, watched uh, Jamie and Zeb at Jamie Ray Vintage. And it's been fun to see you guys take pictures, show you around, and, and spend a little bit of time while you're here at the store. So please do keep coming and, and comment, comment below with where you're at in the United States and uh, we will see if we can't make that happen to see you. All right, so I'll pull this up. We're about halfway there. Got this cool, that's pretty good. So the, the thing inside is going to disappear. So I don't, I, don't, I don't care what it looks like, to be honest, as long as it's in the center. The only thing you can ever see on these, these projects is whatever touches the glass, which makes it nice. You can hide all the rest of whatever you've got in the inside of this. So also, if you, if you want to see how to plant something that you have laying around, if you've got something laying around and you want to see how we would do it or what we would recommend. Let, let us know, comment below. And uh, basically with 
especially with succulents and cactus, you can plant in anything pretty much that has a space to have a little bit of soil in it. It doesn't take much, and that's how we can get away with, you know, we do the pumpkins, we'll do wreaths, we do wreaths, uh, you can be planted in lanterns, you can build build up and reroute these things and, and anything. This is going to have a real good solid start because it's, this is, a, you know, going to have a soil, full soil planter, which is bigger than the one it's, it's currently in. So the soil that we always start with is an organic uh, blend of soil. You want to go potting soil to make cactus and succulent soil just in general you want to do 50% organic potting soil and then 50% coarse sand so we make we make our own here you can buy it pre-bagged I recommend against anything that has any fertilizer or anything in it these plants especially you want to get the water right before you start messing with fertilizer um, but once you get there you can add a little bit of fertilizer based on what, what kind of plants you're putting in there. It's not generic. Okay, so here's what we got so far. Very cool. So the soil we have mixed here already is going to be our cactus mix. And then what I'm going to do going to mix in because there's really no holes in this I'm going to mix in a little more uh, of activated charcoal so we're going to we're going to say that this is this is the top I'm going to go a little above this with sand so I'm putting my finger here and what you want to do is you always want to leave some space so top of the root ball is there the top of the dirt and we want it to be a finger width of space below the rim of the pot usually, but for here I want to use, I'm using my finger as a guide to try to figure out, okay, how much dirt do I need to put in there? So I put my finger here, and that's, that's how much soil I need to put in there before I depot this and pop it in there. So I'm going so to fill it up to about that spot there. And I want to put scoop charcoal mix. And then you'll check. Pop the plant in there. Make sure it sits where you want. I want it to be a little higher. Depotting the plants, always a gentle squeeze on these guys, set it to the side, let it fall out. Most succulents are, they don't have a lot of roots, um, not like, you know, most of this water stored up in the plant itself, so um, sometimes you can get a very shallow rooted plant. Alright, so once I've got that positioned where I want it, the next part is going to be scooping and pinching soil. So I'm going to start on one side. You want to keep this in the center. And once you get a little bit in there, I'm going to turn and do it again. You're going to want to turn and scoop the soil in there so that the plant stays centered. You put it all on one side, then when you go to pinch, it's going to shove the plant over and then you gotta reposition it or leave it, you know, not in the center. So, a little bit there, turn. I'm being careful to make sure that I get no soil out here on the outer area so that I don't have to clean it off later. I still might not do it. I'll try not to though. So it doesn't matter what's on the, in the middle there. 
it doesn't matter that there's a little bit of stuff there at all because it's all going to get covered up. Just the outer outside. All right, so I'm almost done getting the initial amount of soil in here. I'm going to basically fill in all the gaps, fill it all the way around until it's full. And then after that, we're going to pinch. We want to get this nice and pinched. Once you get it there, right, then we're going to pinch. We want to fill, fill in the gaps, but you don't want to cover up the root ball, the top of the root ball. So the reason you don't want to do that is because you don't want, you don't want the water, where the dirt is, you don't want the water to sit above the stems of the plants it'll help rot it out while we're doing this i gotta clean up my mess so all i'm gonna do is whatever dirt is touching the outside i'm scooping it and i might use something other than a pan that's good So before I add more soil, I'm going to finish the rest of the sand on the outside here. Okay, now that I've got that, now I'm going to spoon in the rest. So what I did is I, I built it up like this on the outside so that the little space in between that I still need to put soil in. I can fill that gap really easily and it won't touch the side anymore because it's it's uh, got a little cave there, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to use a spoon so that it's nice and controlled. I'm going to build up the soil to the top of that root ball. Got a little bit of cleanup to do here. What do you guys think so far? So ideally, you know, so right here we got a little bit of a little bit of cleanup right there to do. And then I'm gonna fill in the rest. It's gonna go white all across the top. Okay, so made a boo-boo, gotta clean it up. I go any further. So right here, just pull that stuff away. As long as it's not touching the as long as it's not touching the side, we're good. Okay, so everything's planted. We were successful in having this thing only have sand on the outside. The planter in the middle is perfect for the, the plant. It's got the regular, it's got cactus mixed soil and then we made it even more arid by putting activated charcoal in it. That helps pull the moisture away from the roots. Um, and then also in our, our mix that we do in-house, it has extra perlite in it already. We use chunky perlite just to help the soil be nice and loose for these plants inside. So for all of our indoor arrangements or arrangements that don't have a hole, we always add extra activated charcoal and perlite to the cactus mix. So the last thing we're going to do, I'm just gonna top off the rest of this white sand. I figured I put the white up here instead of the black because the white is going to just like flow over and then it'll help make this uh, this pop. That's why we, that's why I built that thing inside. Otherwise we'd use all kinds of sand in this guy. An outrageous amount of sand. Don't ever shake your plants, but except for that. I just wanted to move the sand around a little bit. So, it's gonna go around. 
fill in anywhere that looks like it's still got a little, a little bit of chocolate dirt on the top. Cover that up. There's one more space right here. Okay. Let me clean off the top of this guy a little bit. canned air, but it makes it uh, very easy to clean these planters. Alright, so we've got a chocolate finger, sand dart, and I can lift it up, which means it's not too heavy, not too much sand, otherwise it would be like this heavy beast go weightlifting with it. Here. All right, so that's how you do that's how you do the sand art when it's a large planter and you don't want to use so much sand you feel the void. And we want to want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, like uh, click the like button on the video and subscribe to our channel, Plant Bar. And we look forward to helping you with tips for all of your plant needs. And look forward to seeing you soon. So I'm David with the Plant Bar. Bye-bye.